Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow circle with the center C and this uh, quarter circle with the center O put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, points A and B are uh, their point of uh, tangency and moreover they intersect each other at this point uh, P and Q and furthermore uh, this tiny segment uh, OP is two units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded uh, circle and just keep in mind that the area of this uh, quarter circle is uh, 49 uh, pi square units please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we know the area of this uh, quarter circle has been given to us uh, as 49 uh, pi and now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle let me label this uh, radius uh, as uppercase uh, r and we are going to find the value of r and now let's recall the area of a circle uh, formula area equals to pi r square and since we are dealing with the quarter circle so therefore the quarter circle area is going to be this area pi r square divided by 4 and since the quarter circle area is 49 pi so i'm going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so 49 times uh, pi equal to pi r square divided by 4 and now we can see pi and pi cancels out from both sides so therefore we are ended up with the r square divided by 4 equals to 49 let's multiply both uh, sides by 4 to remove uh, this uh, fraction and here we can see 4 and 4 is gone so therefore uh, r square turns out to be 196 let me go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, side so therefore the radius uppercase r turns out to be 14 units so therefore the quarter circle radius uh, turns out to be 14 so thus this uh, quarter circle radius uh, turns out to be 14 and likewise uh, this uh, radius uh, of this quarter circle is uh, 14 as well and in this uh, next step i have a uh, connected uh, this center C with this uh, point A and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be 90 degrees so no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees since uh, this uh, AC is our radius and this uh, is our tangent line let me label uh, this uh, radius as uh, lowercase uh, r and moreover i'm going to label uh, this tiny length uh, a o as uh, x uh, units and now in this uh, next step i have dropped a perpendicular uh, cm on this uh, called uh, pq and now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to the chord then the radius uh, bisects the chord so therefore uh, this perpendicular cm is going to bisect uh, this chord pq into two equal parts this uh, mq and this uh, mp and now let's make an observation we can see that uh, this uh, mo length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, ac length if this length is lowercase r then this mo length is going to be lowercase r as well and furthermore we know that this uh, op length uh, is uh, 2 so therefore this remaining uh, mp length uh, is going to be r minus uh, 2 so therefore uh, this uh, mp length uh, turns out to be r minus uh, 2 and since these uh, two segments are equal in length so therefore uh, this qm length uh, is going to be r minus 2 as well and now let's recall the tangent uh, secant theorem according to this theorem if p is an external point and points uh, a b c are the points uh, on the circle 
then according to this uh, given theorem uh, p a square is going to be equal to p b length uh, times uh, p c length now we are going to apply this uh, theorem uh, on this part uh, we got this uh, tangent uh, a o then we can write uh, a o square equals to o p times uh, o q length and here we can see our a o length uh, is x so therefore i'm going to replace this a o by x our this length uh, o p is uh, two units so therefore i'm going to replace this one by two and finally our this uh, o q length uh, is going to be all the way from here to here so this is going to be the sum of r minus 2 plus r minus 2 plus uh, 2 so therefore if we add uh, all uh, these uh, three quantities uh, that is going to give us uh, 2r minus uh, 2 so therefore this equation is going to become simply x square equals to 2 times uh, 2r minus uh, 2 and now let's make an observation we can see 2 is in common uh, from uh, inside this uh, parenthesis so therefore this whole thing could be written as uh, 2 times uh, 2 times uh, r minus 1 2 times 2 is going to give us uh, 4 times r minus 1 as you can see in this uh, next step let me do the square root uh, on both uh, sides to undo this uh, squares so therefore we got uh, x uh, equals to 2 times uh, square root of uh, r minus uh, 1 so therefore we can see that our this uh, length uh, a o which is represented by x uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, r minus 1 so therefore our this uh, a o length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of r minus 1 and here's our next step i have connected uh, this center o with this uh, point uh, b and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so no wonder these uh, centers o and c and this uh, point uh, of tangency b lie on the very same line let me label uh, this uh, length uh, o c as uh, y and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOC. Now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle to solve for uh, y. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, y is our hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So a in our case is uh, 2 times square root of uh, r minus 1 whole uh, square b is r square equal to y square let's take care of this thing that is going to give us 4 times r minus 1 plus r square equal to y square and now we are going to distribute 4 so therefore we can write y square equal to r square plus 4 times r minus uh, 4 let's undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides so therefore we are ended up with y equal to square root of uh, r square plus 4 times r minus uh, 4 so therefore our this uh, y value which is equal to oc turns out to be this uh, value so therefore this uh, OC length uh, turns out to be same and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, length uh, OB is going to be equal to this individual length uh, OC as you can see over here plus uh, this uh, CB length and we can see that this uh, BC length uh, is simply the radius uh, lowercase r and this uh, OB length uh, is the uppercase uh, radius R. That means the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle, which is equal to 14. So therefore, I'm going to replace this OB by 14. This uh, OC length uh, is uh, 
this one that we figured out in our previous step. And finally, this uh, CB length uh, is uh, our radius lowercase r. So let's go ahead and fill in the blank. So this is going to give us a uh, square root of uh, r square plus uh, 4r minus 4 plus uh, CB length is uh, r equals to 14. Let's move this uh, radius r uh, on the other side. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have moved this uh, r on this other side. And now we are going to undo the square root by taking a square on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore, on the left hand side, we are going to get uh, r square plus uh, 4 r minus uh, 4 equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus uh, 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it uh, on this uh, right hand side. So therefore right hand side is going to become 196 uh, minus uh, 28 uh, r plus uh, r square. And now we can see r square and r square they are gone. And now I am going to move this uh, 4 on the right hand side and at the very same time I'm going to move this 28 uh, R on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step. And if we combine the like terms on both sides we are going to get 32 times R equals to 200. Now let's divide both sides by 32 to isolate R. So therefore our radius uh, lowercase r, if we reduce the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 25 divided by 4 units. So therefore this uh, yellow circle radius turns out to be 25 divided by 4. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again, area equals to pi r square. And in our case, uh, the yellow circle radius is 25 uh, divided by 4. So therefore, this uh, yellow circle uh, area is going to be pi times uh, 25 uh, divided by 4 uh, whole uh, square. So therefore, the area of this uh, yellow square turns out to be 625 uh, pi divided by 16 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 625 pi divided by 16 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 122.72 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.